Tonight we're talking about three keys to losing fat, reversing medication, reversing illness, and even living a long, healthy, and happy life. So first off, if you are open-minded to this in your life, just comment, I'm open-minded. And what I'm going to invite you to consider today is to be open-minded because the most expensive thing you can ever own is a closed mind. Would you agree to that? If you do agree to that, I'm also going to show with you how one of my clients, Chris Warner, Hollywood actor, dropped 21 pounds and 7.5% body fat in 17 days. You can actually find his testimonial directly in the link that I posted uh, inside the description, and it's also going to be posted inside the comments area. I'm also going to talk to you a little bit about my friend Violet Hall, a longtime friend from high school. It was a mom of three. She was on five medications for 30 years, and she was told by her doctor that she would never come off. And you will be absolutely amazed at what happened in an extremely short amount of time. And you can actually look at her testimonial as well inside the testimonial link that I just posted. There's about 20 testimonials inside of the link so you can get an idea of what results are actually possible. Is it possible to master your life and create your own crafted version of that so you can be successful? And the answer to that is yes, it is. You just have to have the right wisdom and support and the guidance is what we're going to talk about tonight. What's up, Ben? Hey, Tony. Hey, Shirley. What's up, Anitra? Hey, Darcy. I was thinking about you literally today so i hope you're doing well matter of fact for those of you that are here that this is your first time just comment first timer if you don't mind so i can welcome you hey welcome you to the family and let us know where you're patching in from if you are a veteran just comment veteran and what i would love for you to do even over that hey lynn and pam i would love to know what your biggest challenges are are you having challenges losing body fat are you on medications that you maybe don't want to be do you have an illness right now that you really like to not have are you interested in committing to living a long, healthy, and happy life? Because if you are, you're in the right place. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I've found from over a, probably close to 200,000 hours at this time, as crazy as it may sound. I'm going to share with you what I've found from being in the trenches of life and starting in the thing called health and wellness at an early age of seven. This is what I've done. Uh, this is what people have come to me earlier in life because I had a knack for it, because I loved it, because I did it, and never because I got paid to do it, because I just loved doing it so much. That's what I sunk all my time into, even to this day. So with that being said, leave your comment on where you're at, where you're stuck, and you have my commitment to go back and to respond to you while I'm on. If I don't get to it tonight, you have my commitment. I go back and I answer all my questions personally. So with that being said, welcome aboard. Hey, Michelle, first timer from Austin. Oh, wow, we're going to have to connect. What's up, Manny P? So my only outcome tonight is very simply this. It's to invite you to open your mind. It's to encourage you to challenge and question your current way of thinking. Because if you would have asked me six years ago what my medical paradigm was, I probably would have said you need to go to the doctor if you had a problem, Western medicine doctor. I would not tell you that now, nowadays. And I don't say that disrespectfully. I say that because there's a lot of things that I've come to find over the years that were not taught. Matter of fact, they were taught as the direct opposite of what I currently believe, unfortunately, right? So what you'll find in the testimonial link is you're going to find not my theory or opinion. You're going to find people who have had bone marrow cancer. You're going to find people who come off five medications that they were on for 30 years and never were told they're going to come off. You're going to find out what Disney and Verizon speaker and Houston anchor news person has to say about certain things going on in their health. All of these are inside the testimonial link that I left for you. So you can leave me a question. If you do have one outside of that, let's dive in. What's up, Lou? Hey, Kim. Hey, Jose. So number one thing, okay, and what you're going to find is these are not my theories or opinions, meaning these are things that I have tried and tested. And just so you know, full disclosure, I've been 250 pounds three different times. I've been suicidal. I've been on high. Lots of drugs. Lots of them. I'm blessed to be alive. I ran out of luck. A long time ago I've been suicidal in that situation and what I'm here to share with you very simply is this with the right information the proper attitude and the willingness to implement the tools that I'm sharing with you you too can have your version of rapid results in an extremely short amount of time matter of fact within the testimonials that you're gonna look at you're gonna see absolutely profound changes in a very short amount of time so with that being said, are you 
open-minded. If you're open-minded, just comment, I'm open-minded. If you don't mind sharing, please share my broadcast with someone that you love because the things I'm going to talk to you about tonight, most people don't know about, and they're not doing it. So here's where I like to separate the, the, the men from the ladies or where the rubber meets the road, okay? This is the number one thing. Whenever you work with me, no matter where you're at, people I work with all over the world that I don't see, these are the things I use to help them make educated decisions towards body fat reduction, towards getting their body off of a position to come down with type 2 diabetes or heart disease or lung disease or any type of disease that can happen. I'm here to share with you that 98% of that is completely avoidable through nutrition and lifestyle and emotional well-being and understanding. I personally haven't been sick in 27 years. I don't go to the doctor. I don't have insurance. I get fined every year for being healthy, and I'm okay with that. You get to do what works for you. But for the first part of this, let's talk about this. Here's what I would love to know from you. Hey, Julie, are you currently tracking your body fat or your blood sugars? Question number one, leave your comment. Are you currently tracking your blood sugar or your body fat? Leave your comment. If you are not, it's okay. You're in a completely secure space. I just encourage you to be you. The world needs you. Not who you think you need to be, but the world needs you at your best self. So just allow yourself to be honest. You're in a secure space because, honestly, the only way I can help you, and here's something I'm going to make very clear, and I say this to my groups all the time. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Just stupid mistakes. There's no such thing as a stupid question. Just stupid mistakes. Now, the benefit that I really love personally about why I love using body fat and blood sugars because guess what? It doesn't lie. And if I have accurate information to make proper choices and decisions, will you agree with me that being successful is a natural byproduct? Yes or yes? Right. So what I'll offer you to consider is if you're not doing this, this is what I do in my rapid results program. This is why it works because this is when I have information or data that I can track every three days and I can show you how to track every three days. All you do is implement the steps. You get the data and you say, hey, Brian, my body fat went down 1% this week. Great. We have data to actually track that. Now, the beauty of blood sugars is this over through almost 30, what, 60%, almost 70% of our population is obese. Make no mistake. It's that way for a reason. Because our society is perpetuated around false information and lies. We're being lied to daily. And unless you take full responsibility for your health, don't expect anyone else to do it. Because you know my favorite saying is, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. Would you agree or disagree with that? And while you're leaving your comment, what I would love for you to do is, if this is your first time, if you're just hopping aboard, welcome aboard. What I would love for you to do is leave your name and where you're joining us from and just let you know we love you and appreciate you. And we just invite you to be open-minded because I guarantee you there will be some things I share with you today that will more than likely be something that you have not heard. And that's completely fine. For those of you ready to take your results to the next level and you're wondering about this Brian Johnson guy, you're like, what does this guy do? How can he help me? These are great questions and you're in a great space because I just created a brand new testimonial compilation of a bunch of people that I've helped and I put them in a super easily palatable format so you can watch the videos and you can see exactly what people have come to me for and exactly what kind of results people have had. And I'll be honest with you, take a moment and check it out because there is some extremely profound stuff. Whether you decide to work with me or not, you need to understand what's possible because a lot of times people don't even know what's available. When they go to their doctor and they get a checkup and the doctor says you have XYZ and they frighten them into getting something cut out. I'm here to share with you that's avoidable. Matter of fact, it's highly avoidable when you understand what to do with nutrition tools, which is all the stuff I talk about in my rapid results program, getting into understanding like why kiwis can help reverse asthma. Did you know that? Did you know that kiwis, there's a ton of science behind this back in uh, Italy uh, showing how kiwis can actually help reverse people's breathing challenges. Did you know that? I didn't know that until I learned it with all the other stuff I learned. But look, why is that important? Well, when you have the right wisdom, you can go into your local grocery store, just like you see me do all the time, and you can literally understand what vegetables you need to help cater to the symptoms that you are experiencing. I'm going to say that again. With the proper wisdom and information that I will teach you in my rapid results program is you will go into your grocery store 
and you will know exactly what fruits or vegetables or nuts will actually help with certain things to help you be successful. So you can make your doctor your new grocery store. Does that sound like something that would be beneficial to you? Of course, right? We're talking about saving tons of money on wasted time and you empowering yourself with the truth. And the way that you do that is by using the body fat meter, by using the blood sugar meter, because this gets us out of the realm of theories and opinions. I don't even care about my own opinion. And I love myself. I don't care what Brian thinks about it. It's like, what does the data say? Let's base our judgments, cancel that. Let's base our thoughts, our direction, our opinions off of what the data actually says. Can you see why that would be beneficial in making new adjustments in your life with the facts? Because look, we've been piped full of a lot of stuff that's just not true. Matter of fact, most of it is just straight up lies. All of it. And unless you have the tenacity to dig through all of it and to be what I call a truth seeker, no matter what that is, truth comes in many forms. When you have the willingness and the open-mindedness to receive feedback from someone like myself, who this is what I do for my this is what I do for my career, <laughs> is transform lives. I'm not a healer. I'm, I teach people how to thrive. That's it. I'm not a healer. I help people thrive so they can come off their meds and get better sleep, have better relationships, restore relationships, restore their personal relationships, step into their best self. Like you can see tons of different testimonials that people have come to me to help them out are inside that link. So make sure you check them out. If you've ever been on the fence wondering like, what can Brian do? How can he help me out? Just take a few moments and invest in yourself to look and see what's available. Because look, the, the blessing and the curse with me is I understand how to do a lot of things. And a lot of times that's a curse because people are like, Brian, what do you do? I'm like, God, I do so many things. I just help people be amazing. How's that? <laughs> and the only way you can understand that is just by investing time with me and seeing what other people have already experienced. So with that being said, check it out. Let's continue. What's up, Judy? Hey, Derek. What's up, Anitra? Dr. Kazmaier. Hey, Kathleen. So I've got a special guest for you coming on this Saturday at 1 o'clock p.m. Make sure you tune in to my Think Great Lose Weight page because I have Dr. Kazmaier coming on, and you are going to absolutely love her. We're going to be talking about the Broken medical model. What? Did that come out like that? Sure did. Broken medical model. And we're going to talk about digestion. We're going to talk about some amazing stuff. So make sure you bring your game day hat and make sure you bring your best questions because we're going live at 1 o'clock and we've got some real special stuff for you. So with that being said, if you haven't shared, please do. Right now we're going to start talking about one of the, <laughs> the things that I literally avoided like a plague. I, avoid, I avoided this so hard. Uh, it was amazing. I'm going to tell you about it right now. So here's what I would love to know from you. Do you currently meditate? Leave your comment. Are you currently meditating? Yes, I do. No, I don't. And if you don't, it's totally okay. Just be honest. And we're going to talk about why that's important. And we also go through a lot of that. If you're, if you're curious about taking your experience to the next level, check out our book, Think Great, Lose Weight. It took us five years to create. What a pain in the honey. Uh, and there's a ton of information in here of what I'm talking to you about tonight. Like, just so you know, I love mastering the basics. So any of my high performers will know that we coach on air, water, food, sleep, emotions, or consciousness, all in that order to help you function as your best self. Because look, I don't care who you are and what you're doing. If you're not mastering the basics, you will never be a Jedi. If you are not mastering the basics, you will never be a Jedi, period, okay? There's no way around it. So you need to understand how you can make simple one-degree adjustments that easily integrate into your life. Doesn't mean you're at the gym for two hours a day sweating your hiney off. It means you're understanding different wisdom on a higher level to make smarter choices to impact your life today by doing as little as possible. Does that sound like something that would be of benefit to you? Of course, right? And this is what I do in my 30-day challenge, my rapid results program, is help you get clear on those things. I look, these are things that I, hey, Myrna, these are things that's taken me a long time to figure out. I've worked with well over 100,000 people and been doing this for like, what, 36, 37 years? So what I'm sharing with you is stuff that has almost cost me my life from being hard-headed sometimes and then not having the proper information. So when I say be open-minded, be open-minded. Things change all the time. The only thing that's inevitable that's going to happen is change. Change is inevitable. So if you can condition yourself to be comfortable being uncomfortable, 
Will you agree with me now that that is a very conducive belief system to help you have an amazing attitude, which is going to in turn allow you to have an amazing experience. Plus, it's going to help you have more longevity. Make no mistake, I personally believe that your attitude is directly reflective of your experience, the quality of the people, circumstances, situations, and events that you get to experience because you are creating them, period. Not a lot of people are talking about that. Matter of fact, no one's talking about that. That wasn't taught to me in school, but it sure is helping. All right, so let's talk about this. So one of the things that I avoided like the plague was this thing called meditation. So are you currently meditating? Leave your comment. Hey, Patty Roberts, are you meditating? Here, and here's a couple of examples. Just leave your comment, yes or no. Meditating could be walking in the park. Could be praying. Could be sitting there being quiet. Could be active appreciation or expressing or acknowledging beauty when you see it in people and smiles and nature and just things. This will be forms of meditation. There's a lots of them, okay? But here's the important part, right? So many of you know this, especially my veterans that are with me in my Rapid Results program, is I get up at 4 a.m. What? I get up at 4 a.m. most days. Matter of fact, I do my best to get up at 4 a.m. seven days a week to keep my as an accident, my spot, right? To keep my, I got his ears, to keep my uh, schedule consistent. Meaning if I get up late, it throws me off for a few days. But here's why I like getting up at four. Would you agree that if you had a set one to two hours a day that were only for you, meaning these hours, these times of the day are where you get to invest in you. Maybe that's reading. Maybe that's praying. Maybe that's taking an Epsom salt bath. Maybe that's doing some cardio. Maybe that's doing some foam rolling. Maybe that's doing some personal emotional discovery work. Maybe that's using some essential oils. Maybe that's doing all of that in a certain sequence. Well, if you think that would be helpful for you, leave your comment. What's up, Audrey Nicole? One of my favorites. If you think that would be helpful, what part specifically do you think would be most helpful for you? And here's what I'm going to share with you. A lot of my friends have been dying. I say I feel that right in my chest. I feel a lot of sorrow about that. One of my really good friends just passed. I think I'm going to cry for a second. Now, I say that because no one knows when it's their time. And I will assure you, if you're not doing something to prolong your time, becoming a better version of yourself, bringing more light and more love into your experience to share with our brothers and sisters, I guarantee you there's a higher probability that you're calling your card sooner than the actual point of it being called itself. If you haven't actively chosen your life, I'd invite you to make a choice now to do so. If you don't love yourself now, I'd invite you to get clear on when you stopped. Because many of you don't, many of you, some of you may know this. I almost killed myself quite a few times. Matter of fact, I wanted to shoot myself on Saturday. What? Are you kidding me? I'm going to be real honest with you. I had a lot of stuff come up in hypnosis class this past weekend. Threw me off my rocker. I didn't want to be around anyone. I, can, and I, can, I, can I share this with you? Uh, I think it's important for you to understand as a coach, as a teacher, as a leader, I still have my things. I'm coaching myself all the time. <laughs> This is why I share these things because it helps keep me in the game so I can support you. But literally, I wanted to shoot myself on Saturday. I was done with this thing called Planet Earth, Cancel Clear, I Choose My Life. And I know for a fact that was just a time of things coming up for me to do the work on. Now, here's what I mean by that. There's things that are going to come up all the time in your life. If you don't know how to recognize what they are emotionally, if you don't have any tools to combat them, guess what? Shoving them under the rug is not going to solve your problem. They're going to show up in other people. They're going to show up in your health. They're going to show up in your lack of sleep. They're going to show up in your lack of enthusiasm. They're going to show up in your rheumatoid arthritis, your stomach problems, your digestion problems, your headaches, your balls, your lack of success, your tumultuous relationships. All of it is going to show up because of who you're being. Feelings buried alive never die. I'm going to say that again. Feelings buried alive never die. This is why 
Meditation is absolutely critical. I fought it tooth and nail since 2017. I've been tracking it. I track meditations, meaning I have a 66-day habit tracker right here. I'll share this with you. I just started a brand new one. This is what I do in my rapid results programs. I go through this with you. This is a 66-day habit tracker, which means there are 66 days on there that you will put a check or a smiley part, a smiley face by. So you can start actively integrating new habits. Now, why is this important? Great question. Our habits define us. People say, Brian, how do you stay motivated? I'll say, first off, let's stop lying to myself. Motivated doesn't exist. Motivated is temporarily. I'm motivated for a minute, but let's be honest. Motivation is going to get real old, and willpower is not on will call. I don't care how strong-willed you are. You need to have habits. You need to get really crystal clear on what habits you require to be successful. And when you are crystal clear on that, you need support to help you integrate these things. Because look, 66 days is the actual science behind what it takes to create a habit. Did you know that? Leave your comment. Hey, Deborah, I was thinking about you today. Hey, Frank. Uh, yes, but not at 4 a.m. You can do your 5 a.m. and I'll help you do all this for stuff. But just understand. If you are not meditating right now, that's the best place you can start because, look, our world is designed to keep us in chaos. Our world is designed to keep us in chaos. The news, media, terrible music that's been strategically designed to embed amazing lyrics right into your subconscious programming because you catch the beats and your subconscious takes takes. Feedback from anyone. It has no filters or no guards unless you consciously and actively put them there. What does that mean? That means that we've been programmed from day one. Unless you question absolutely everything in your life, I'd invite you to consider there's probably a lot of things that you are functioning off of right now that are not serving your highest choice. Would you agree or disagree? And for those of you interested in taking your your version of that to the next level. This is what I help you program all this stuff in my rapid results program. And like I said, to find out more information on some of the, like Violet who dropped five medications in three months, she was on for 30 years. She came off of them in three months. Her testimonial is in that link. One of my buddies, Chris, uh, Chris Warner, my actor client, dropped 17 pounds to 7.5% at 21 pounds to 7.5% body fat in 21 days. I say there's a wide spectrum of information, but it boils down to understanding a few simple things. And naturally, instinctively, when you understand these things, it is inevitable for you to have more fulfillment, for you to have more confidence, for you to feel better naked because your body starts responding more favorably because who you're being. Unless you're committed to being your best self, one of the things you really need to understand that is you are who you are, and I am who I am because of my identity. If you ever desire to be something better, something different, you have to change your identity, which means unless you've consciously invested the time saying, I'm going to be happy, I'm going to have an amazing attitude, I'm going to deal with my fear straight on, I'm going to have a person, unless you actively craft out these attributes, these characteristics, these personality traits, these belief systems. You are programmed in the old version of yourself. This is why meditation works so well because when you're in a meditative state, you're calm and you can actually communicate to your subconscious slash unconscious body. Does that make sense? This is the reason why our book says think great, lose weight. And there's no word in parentheses where it says work your hiney off. You do that after you're in alignment with what you need to be doing. Does that make sense? Let me know if we're on the same page. It's important. It's important to make sure I'm serving you accurately and you've got a lot of good information. All right? So now, with that being said, breathing, meditation, mindset, I go through all this stuff in my Rapid Results program to help you integrate this into your lifestyle into your way of being. Because here's the thing, a lot of times when people come to me like, Brian, I need to do all this stuff. I need to be a better dad. I own a business. I've got employees. I need to be more excited and be more enthusiastic about serving, about bringing my gifts to the planet. And I just don't know how to do it. I feel terrible. I'm sleeping terrible. My relationships are in the crap, or even though my business is doing amazing. And my body looks about the same as it does about how I feel. Many people are driving Ferraros, but living in a Pinto. 
driving Ferraris and living in a Pinto. There's a lot of people like that, and it's okay. The important part of it is just getting clear that something is out of alignment and that you get to shift it. So with that being said, this is where we get to tweak. And there's a lot of ways to do it. You just need to understand the simple one-degree adjustments. I tell my clients this. I say, look, I am not interested in you having a transformation. They say, what? That's what I'm coming to you for. I know. You're not interested in having a transformation either. And I'm going to invite you and to suggest that you adopt this way of thinking. Would it be fair to say that a transformation sounds like a lot of work? Yes or yes? Leave your comment. Transformation sounds like a lot of work to you? It does to me. What doesn't sound like a lot of work to me that's actually inspiring for me and uplifting for me is to make simple one-degree adjustments all day. Make sense? Now, when you understand which simple one-degree adjustments to make, would you agree that transformation happens inevitably? Of course. Okay? Now, we covered that one up, just some graphs. Like I said, I go through all the stuff in my rapid results program. You can find out more information on the testimonial link inside the link in the comments area or the description area of my post. Here's the next one we're going to talk about. So here's what I would love to know from you, viewer's choice, okay? I would love to know from you what challenges you're having with your nutrition right now. Do you know what to eat? Are you confused on what to eat? Should I be eating fat? Should I be eating carbs? Should I not be eating at all? Should I be eating breakfast? Should I only eat breakfast? Should I not eat at all? Should I just breathe air all day long and be a breatharian? What do I, what do, I do? Are you just confused? Of course, I was too. Look, I've been 250 pounds three different times. You're talking about someone who has had a refrigerator lock. That's right. I've had a refrigerator lock and a lock on my pantry to break my habits. There's no shame here. I'm completely transparent with you. I don't expect you to hear me until you know me, right? And if you don't know some of the darkest things about me, you're not going to understand why I would be a perfect guide for you to be amazing and successful, right? Of course. So let's talk about nutrition. In my personal humble opinion, I've seen a lot of miracles happen in my life. I've been blessed to help create a lot of them, and I've been blessed to help people come back to them because they're already here. When you understand the wisdom that God has injected into our food, you will find faith and hope that our body is designed immaculately. I don't get flu shots. You couldn't pay me to put toxins in my body to make it healthier. And what I've seen will absolutely blow or expand your mind. Matter of fact, inside the testimonial link, I have quite a few people who have had medication issues that we were able to completely resolve through food and nutrition. Now, why do I think this is important to talk about? And why do I think that if you're really serious about dropping body fat easier, if you're talking about reversing medications, reversing illness, if you're talking about feeling amazing, you need to understand what and how to eat. And it's going to change all the time. But when I go through and do custom nutrition work with my clients, some of my clients fly me out to their area of the woods. Some of them fly me out of state, out of country to go into their life and to take all the things that they're doing, their family and their business and their entrepreneur adventures and help them to craft a lifestyle that fits their outcomes, fits their needs, and fits their ability to be sustainable and realistic. Would that be helpful for you? Be helpful for me, <laughs> right? Now, here's the next thing. What's up, Brandon Fargo? What's up, Jesse Vasquez? So sweets are also one of my challenges. I love them. I do. Matter of fact, that's why I've been 250. Matter of fact, I say cupcakes and pizza are some of my favorite foods. Okay. What I am suggesting is you don't have to get rid of them. But if I could show you a few behind the scenes secrets of what professionals do. So what people, a lot of people come to me for, a lot of people don't know this. Is I used to put people on stage in their underwear and their swim trunks or their bikini outfits for competitions. That's where my background comes from, on top of symptom reversal nutrition, like understanding what certain foods you would eat to help reverse diabetes or help getting blood sugar levels or cancers or headaches or whatever. I take all of that understanding and help you format it into something that fits your lifestyle, but also helps you to fit into your best self. Because I'll be honest with you, there's nothing worse than hating how you feel, cancer. There's nothing worse than hating how I feel. Getting out of the shower and seeing how nasty and out of shape I've been in my past. I would just not want to look. Can you relate to that? 
if you can relate to that, have you ever thought what it's actually costing you in your life? Because it's not just you're done when you're out there, when you're in the shower and you're getting out and not having to look at yourself. Because everyone else in the world is looking at you too. And they're reaffirming what you feel about yourself in your relationships, in your business relationships, in your confidence or your lack of confidence, in your physical relationships. And capital A N D. It doesn't have to be that way. And I'm going to share with you look, it's a challenge finding the proper combination to fit your lifestyle and your needs. Would you agree? Or disagree but the thing is this is you have to believe that you are worth it or you're not gonna figure it out and I'll be honest with you look since I did my show in 2000 here me show you this I did my show in 2019 2009 check it out this picture right here is me both of them so I can get it on there okay both of those are me <laughs> and that's about six months apart okay now Obviously, there's a massive difference between those two. Would you agree? And there's a lot of difference that went into this right here, on this one over here. There's three hours of working out a day that went into that picture before I did this show. Now, why am I showing you this? I'm not showing you this as a pat on my back. I'm showing you this because it was a big pain in my ass. Both of those were. And what I've found and discovered through my pain in the ass is I figured out how to actually incorporate this into a realistic way of life. So that not only can you have your cake, but you can eat it too. But understand, everyone's recipe is different. There's not a single recipe on the planet that's the same. So if you're doing keto, that may be great, but guess what? You may be the kind of person who needs some carbohydrates with that. How do I know how much? Well, this is where I come in. I come in with the data and the tools to help you get clear on what's actually going on and educate you. So you can be empowered and so you can make the best decisions for you, your family, and the things that you're looking to create. Because I'm going to be really honest with you. If you are out of shape, if you're fat, if your belly's hanging over your clothes, I'm not saying that to be disrespectful. I'm saying that because, look, if you don't make any changes today, you could very easily end up like one of my friends because silent inflammation is a big deal. Silent inflammation doesn't come knocking on your door because of the pain. Many times there is zero pain. And lifestyle, food choices, lack of meditation, lack of unresolved emotions will inflame the body and the organs. And if you are not taking care of yourself, it's not going to come knocking on your door and say, hey, hey, we've been talking to you for the last 15 years to get your butt up and go and do something and make some changes. Guess what? That shit's almost done. And if you're 40 and you're here on the planet, you better give yourself a happy little pat on the back and just guess what? There are no more days promised for you other than the one before you're knocked off. And I say that because, look, you need to start taking care of your health. Thank God my entire life has been always about my health first before anything else that's the only reason why i can share this when my life was in the gutter and i was doing drugs and partying i was still taking care of myself i was still eating and i was doing my best to still sleep when it was time to sleep i would at least stay up if i was up for two or three days i was eating to keep my body nourished i know that may sound very extremist but make no mistake i was very extreme not not saying you should do that. I'm just giving you some examples of what needs to happen for you to be successful. Hey, Joe. What's up, Philip? Hey, Dirk. So I'd like to just pause for a second and ask, are there any burning desire questions that you would like for me to answer for you? And just know, for those of you who are ready to step up your game, a lot can be done. A lot. In a very simple time, people are amazed at how fast transformation can happen. And a lot of times when I'm doing phone calls with people, I do all my phone calls for free. Like if you're interested in having a conversation with me and I think it's a good fit, I'll chat with you for free. And I guarantee you in 15 minutes, life can be very different if you're open-minded. And you can also use the testimonials and look for yourself to see all the people that have come before you, or at least some of them, to get an idea of what's actually transpired and happened. Because until you take a front seat for yourself, most people 
man, I work with a lot of people, and most people are not, they're not the number one person on their totem pole. And it's not about being selfish, it's about loving yourself. If you do not love yourself, you cannot give it away to someone else. It doesn't work. And guess what? For 12 years, I had no idea that I didn't love myself. None. And I realized I was trying to kill myself about for 12 years, taking crazy amounts of drugs, just doing dumb shit. I should have been dead a long time ago, cancel clear. And I had no idea that I didn't love myself until my coach brought it out. And I was like, well, that sure does make sense. But let me ask you this. Did you know that heart disease is the number one killer in the world? Heart disease is the number one killer in the world. Now, I'm going to invite you to open your mind. Remember you said you're open mind at the beginning of this? This is going to be important. I will invite you to consider, from my understanding and from what I've learned to what I've observed, if you will, my humble opinion, I believe that if anybody comes down with any type of challenge physically or um, symptomatically or dis-ease wise, I believe it has transpired through emotions first. If someone comes down with something physical, a dis-ease, a symptom, a pain, whatever, I believe that there is something that's transpired emotionally first now, why is that important well because look if you don't have any tools to do the emotional work and you're out of shape and you're not taking action consistently you're not taking shape because you've got things going on emotionally that are not going to allow you to take shape or to move forward you're not going to invest the time in creating new habits because you don't love yourself and you don't feel worthy look most people fall in this category can you relate to that I'm not saying that you are. You're all free from this. What's up, Carl? And most people don't love themselves. Would you like to know a good, simple test of how you can determine this? If you're open-minded to that, just comment. I'm open-minded. I'll share this with you real quick, and it'll be done. If you would like to know, this is probably the number one thing you could possibly, in life, in my opinion, this is the number one thing that you could be absolutely crit critically concrete clear on your outcome and that's very simple if i ask you do you love yourself what's your comment you might be saying brian what does this have to do with three keys of dropping body fat reversing illness and medications and living a long and happy life well to be truthfully with you or to be brian because i don't know how to be frank it's the number one thing that has to do with all of that because if you don't love yourself i don't care what you're doing you're off your mark if you don't love yourself, I don't care what you're doing and how amazing you think you're doing it. You are off your mark. When people don't love themselves and they have fear and resistance and resentment, that emotion is what impacts hearts, creating heart disease. Heart disease comes around from resisted love. Does that make sense? As you open your mind to what I'm sharing with you, and as you give yourself permission to just give me 1% of your trust, you have my commitment to earn the other 99. And you can see people who have come before you through the testimonial link that's in my, in my link, that you can check them out. There's a lot of them on there. And there's a stream of different ones. So just find some that work for you, but just know it doesn't take years to make a transformation. This is why I created a 30-day rapid results program, because it doesn't take a long time with the proper guidance and the proper support and the proper tools to help you be successful. But let's be honest, being successful is just really what you would like to do, myself included, being fulfilled, being a better dad, being a better partner, being a better leader, being a better student, being a better listener, being a person who is so geared on service and helping people be their best self. That is your version and whatever that is. And if you're not doing that, it's okay. And if you're not doing that, when is now a good time to make a new choice? To be perfectly clear with you, now is the only time to make a new choice. Because tomorrow when you're thinking about this, what time is it going to be? Now. Now is the only time that technically exists. So if you ever find yourself saying, well, I'm going to do that tomorrow. No, you're unconsciously lying to yourself. Unconsciously meaning not knowingly. Why do you say that, Brian? 
Well, you're unconsciously doing that because do you think if you honestly knew that tomorrow that tomorrow would never come, and the only time that was now that you would say, well, I'm going to do that tomorrow? Of course not, because you love yourself. You're going to give yourself a direct command and say, I'm going to do that first thing in the morning at 9 a.m. or whatever that is. You're going to find that when I'm working with people, the fastest way to upgrade or downgrade your life is this one simple thing. Do you mind if I share it with you really quick? And then we will be done. If you're open-minded and you're good with me sharing that, just comment, I'm open-minded. What's up, Mr. Cramp? Happy birthday. Hey, Amy. So the number one thing that you could possibly understand to upgrade or downgrade your life super fast is this one thing. The power of our words, by our words we are justified, and by our words we are condemned. The word becomes flesh, is very real. Your life, my life, our life collectively is because of what we're thinking and what we're speaking. No ifs, ands, or buts. If you don't believe that or you find some resistance about that, do your own research. Anyone, be, anyone who does not understand the power of the word is behind the times you can go look at many ancient teachings and many ancient spiritual teachings that are respected across cultures it's always about words words create vibrations words go out into the ether and then also creates this thing called law of attraction guess what it's very real and it's happening and working whether you like it or not if you want something really 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 bad you're gonna get it if you don't want something really, 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 really bad, you're going to get it because it's your thought that qualifies the experience. We're not going to get any more of that. But just know I love you. If you're serious about doing the deal and being your best self and you're interested in doing it in as little time as possible, I guarantee you, you will get results in my 30-day rapid results program. If you would like to test me out, let's chat. Conversations on me. Um, use just really just look at the uh, look at the testimonials. Don't take my word for it. Look at the people who come before you and see what they have. What's up, Rachel? Rachel. So other than that, that's all I have. Let me know what questions you have. If you're catching the replay and you're in 40 minutes, uh, I will go back and, and answer them for you. Just know I love you and I appreciate you. Hopefully, you got some good value out of tonight. In cap, closing out. Number one. Meditation, mindset, breathing. If you're not doing any, you need to figure out what to do and start doing that because that's the biggest thing you can possibly do to change your world. And I help you and I go through and help you teach. I teach you all this stuff and how to integrate it in your life and actually help you integrate it into your life in my challenge. Uh, the next thing is you need to understand nutrition. If you don't know what to eat, you're just blase, blase. Guess what? You need to understand what to eat because if you don't, it's going to be like pay now or pay later. But either way, you're going to pay. It's better to pay now, meaning with your time and your money, to learn the wisdom rather than it's going to cost you your time and your money and you not have any choice in the matter when the day comes when your calls or when your cards are called. And it's going to, it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. And the last one is this. Don't take my word for it. Track your own results so you can understand what you is getting. If you have... Uh, a body fat meter and a blood sugar meter. I help all teach all this stuff in my rapid results program. I actually show you which ones to get. But look, you need to understand. You need to track your results. If you're not tracking your results, you're lying to yourself. You're wasting your time. And I know you're not a person who's interested in lying to yourself or wasting your time, or you would not be connected with me. So with that being said, if you need a jump start, let me know. I'll be glad to help you out. Love you. Have an amazing night. And remember, if you don't make time for your wellness, you will make time for your illness. But hey, just know I appreciate you. I appreciate you investing your time with me because there's nothing more personal that you could possibly do is allow me to serve you with the most valuable resource that you will never get back. So congrats for investing in yourself through me. Love you. Bye. Hey. Have an amazing night. Love you. Miss you, Amy. Bye.